Hare Krishna. Devotion needs to be expressed, to be experienced and enriched. Some people say devotion is just a matter of the heart. Why do you have to exhibit it to the world? You can just practice your devotion in your heart. Yes, it's true that there is no need to exhibit the devotion to the world. But there is a difference between exhibition of devotion and expression of devotion. When there is an exhibition of something, the purpose of doing it just is to show others. But when there is expression of devotion, that is simply a normal human or relational way of bringing forth what is within our hearts. In every relationship that we have, we don't keep emotions only in the heart, we express those emotions. And it is by the expression of emotions, through the proper words, through the proper actions, that that relationship deepens. If two people have affection for each other, they need to express it through their actions, through their words, if a mother says to, I love my child, but the child is crying and the mother just keeps sitting watching TV. She says, I love my child. If she loves her child, she'll express that love by taking care of the child. So in no relationship do we use this logic that actually your affection keep it only in your hearts. Yes, there should not be a public exhibition, but there needs to be the appropriate expression. And Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita tells us that by such expression of devotion, actually we come closer to him. He says, Man mana bhava mad bhakto madhyaji maam namaskuru maam evaishyasi satyam te pratijane priyosi me. In 18.65, he encourages us not just to think of him internally, man mana bhava. He says, man mana bhava mad bhakto, become my devotee. And how does we become his devotee? He says, we have to do external actions also. Madhyaji and Maam Namaskuru. We offer our homage to him. We offer our obeisances to him. Such external expressions of our devotion, they enable us to experience devotion. Our emotions are shaped not just by what is inside us, but also how we exhibit outside. If we sit in a very bossy way, with our hands behind our head, with our legs on the desk. And then if we say, I am humble, we will not feel humility. That very external position will shape our internal disposition. So similarly, when the, the rituals and the practices of bhakti, if we do them prop with proper consciousness, they enable us to experience the emotions. When we go in front of Krishna and bow down to him, that enables us to experience devotion. And if we already have devotion, it enables us to enrich our devotion. So expressing devo devotion can't just be kept in the heart. When it is expressed, when it is expressed, then it becomes experienced and it becomes enriched. Thank you. Hare Krishna.